All right, so we got the band back together here. And if you've been outside lately, you've probably seen people jogging or yogging. It might be a soft J. <laughs> at a time, so. <laughs> out there is really good for your mental health. It's so a gray area, we just think it's best to run by yourself. Okay, how far do you need to keep away from runners? New research out there out of Belgium oh. and the Netherlands suggests a oh. two-meter gap is way Ooh. too close to live droplets oh. and to hang in the air behind the moving oh. person. Yeah, take a look at that. Disgusting. I know. <laughs> So it's best to stay 10 meters behind someone going on a run. Make that 20 meters if you're behind someone on a bike. Biggest 20. takeaway here, 20. Biggest takeaway is this research says keep a six meter dis distance behind anyone in front of you, no matter how fast or slow they're going. Oh. But this oh. isn't easy to do, especially <laughs> in places like elevators or a grocery store. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, but here's the thing, but that's when you're traveling at the same rate of oh. speed, right? That's when you're running. Uh, I was told there would be no math. <laughs> Uh, this is, we are, we're grossing out the country at 6.15. It's uh, really gross. I don't know, right? how are you guys dealing when you, uh, more and more we have to. When you're running? Are you I will, running? I don't run. Uh, people run by me. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not uh, doing it. You're not doing it? Because I know you yeah. like to run. You're not running? No, no. I like, I have every good intention at 5 a.m. to be like, I am going to close those rings today. I'm going to work out. And then I get to like 3 o'clock. And again, it's just like nap time and snack time. Always. All After day. seeing that graphic, though, guys, I mean, honestly, if, if I see a runner coming at me, I'm running in the opposite direction. Well, you just dive, like, yeah. just, like hit the ground. <laughs> just throw a poncho yeah, over myself and, and, and turtle out. <laughs> if, if you see Ben turtling on the ground, it's because yeah. a runner has just run by him. <laughs> it's true, though, and also, like, and you're, if you're going uh, the you opposite direction. Like elevators yeah. and. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're talking about elevators and grocery stores. People aren't leaving that kind of spray behind them when they're, I mean, that's for running. That, gra that really gross graphic <laughs> is really just for running. Also, another scientific reason now proves why I don't have to take up jogging. Me too. But like, yeah, if, you, if you're waiting for an elevator and four or five people are waiting, like, do you each take a corner and you just sort of... I actually haven't been around an elevator. Mm -hmm. Really? Um, yeah, since this all started. So I haven't, I don't have any elevator protocol. But I know people are living in buildings. I mean, that's a thing. Yeah. Somebody, my mom, uh, who lives in a building, my mom and dad, and they were saying, well, why doesn't the elevator just get programmed to stop on every floor, and then if somebody's in there, you just wait or something. It would take a long time, it would take or you take the stairs. Ugh. Yeah, those are the options. And would fill up really fast. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you can't go in if somebody's in there. Yeah. That would be the whole thing. No, they just got to wait for the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.